Brock isn't here. He never comes in this early. I know. That's why I'm here now. Oh? Scotty, I need to talk with you. Alone. Oh, yeah? Scotty, we used to be friends. Why are you doing this to me? I always thought we were still friends, Bobby. Of course, I don't know exactly what it is I'm doing to you. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about my past. And don't deny that you're the one that's bringing it all up again. Of course, I deny it. Scotty. Scotty, you of all people should know how I suffered for what I did. Why do you want to put me through that again? Put you through what again, Bobby? I really have no idea what you were talking about. Scotty, you know what I got in the mail? I got a copy of one of my rap sheets. Oh, yeah? Well, why would you come to me? Because you sent it. Did it have uh, my address on it? Was it written in my handwriting? Because if it wasn't, you know, I don't know why you're coming to me, Bobby. Scotty, I think the reason for that is very obvious. All right, you want to talk about obvious? I'd be more than happy to tell you, all right? If, if you're afraid of your past coming back to haunt you... Yes, I'm afraid. To tell you the truth, I've been worried sick about it. Well... I think uh, we should make sure that it stops. I mean, there is only one way that we both know to keep your sordid past off the front page. How? You have to get Luke to withdraw from the campaign because um, if he's not running for office, you see, his sister's life would be of, of no interest to anybody. I mean, nobody would want to print anything about that, right? Scotty, listen to me, all right? Just listen to reason. No, wait, listen to me, okay? Because I'm not finished. On the other hand, see, if, if Luke continues to run for office, then he's fair game. His family, and especially his sister. Now, you can see what I'm talking about, can't you? I'll tell you what I can see. Oh, can I ever? What's that? You're using me to get at Luke, and that's a dirty game, Scotty. That's blackmail. Very upset. Do you want to talk to me about it? Yeah. Okay. Come on, sit down. Find out. I tried to talk to Scotty. Oh, no wonder you're upset. I think I can guess what you wanted to see him about. Oh, Ruby, there's no use. He denied the whole thing, but he has every intention of using my past against Luke in the campaign. And mine. And I don't think we have any alternative but to go to Luke and to tell him everything. Absolutely not. Oh, honey, then he'd drop out of the race. We can't do that, do we? What's the difference, Ruby? If we don't tell him, Scotty's going to use everything he has, and Luke's name's going to be mud anyway. Well, then Luke will fight the smear, and you know he will. Oh, honey, we just can't let that happen to him. So what are you saying? We should just ignore it? No. No, I think we have to stand up and admit it. And make sure that the public knows Luke had nothing to do with our past. Ruby, I can't do that again. I can't admit what I was again. If Scotty's determined to do this, I'm afraid you're going to have to. And so am I. We, we can't let Luke drop out without even trying. Ruby, I just don't want to face all those ugly things that they're going to say about us. I know, honey. It's not easy. But you know something? I don't think we're going to have to, because I think Scotty's bluffing. <laughs> Scotty is capable of anything. You know that. I know that, darling. But I'll tell you what. If the threat of exposing it gets what he wants, then all he needs is a threat, and that's the end of it. If he's bluffing. I think he is. And furthermore, Lee would never let him fall that low. I wish I could believe that. You can believe it. Lee Baldwin is not a man who fights below the belt. You can count on that. Oh, Ruby, I know that. Just that. I don't think he has that much control over Scotty. And let's face it. Scotty is going to stop at nothing to get what he wants. And what he wants right now is Luke out of that campaign. I'm not. Any more like yourself now? I knew that, Great Jesse. Thank you for insisting on it. Oh, sure. Oh, by the way, this came for you a few minutes ago. A messenger brought it. I told him that you were over in the lounge there, but he just left it and left. Thank you, Jesse. Sure. Dr. Siegel, call your service. Dr. Siegel, call your service. Ruby, wait a minute. Yo, what is it, darling? Oh, I forgot. 
to ask you if you can have dinner with me tonight. Oh, I'd love to. That sounds terrific, Wendy. Why don't I check with you later and we'll set the time? Marvelous. Goodbye. Nurse Bridget Baum report to the clinic. Nurse Bridget Baum report to the clinic. to reality. <laughs> so, some people say you wanted to see me, huh? What's going on? I'll get right to the point. Why are you putting yourself through this? Through what? Through the campaign, through the pressure, the ugliness, the fight with Robert Scorpio. Look, is it worth it? I don't care, Bobby. You sound like you did the day I told you I was going to run for, for mayor. Don't you want me to? You don't need this kind of treatment. Well, uh, what do you want me to do about it? I mean, you must know that I can handle it. I'm just worried about you. Well, I mean, you don't have to be. Honest. Nothing's going to make you change your mind, is it? Not a thing. I'm in this one to the end. 